Hello chaps, Harry Badger here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Gunman Airsoft site in Tuddenham, Suffolk. Gunman Airsoft also operate another site in Eversley, Hampshire, but for today we'll be looking at the Tuddenham site. Location Located in rural Suffolk, East Anglia, the Gunman Tuddenham site is about 10 miles northwest of Bury St Edmunds. The site is actually based at the old abandoned RAF Air Base. RAF Tuddenham was established in 1941 and ran squadrons of Stirling and Lancaster bomber raids over to Europe during the Second World War. Later in 1959, during the Cold War, RAF Tuddenham had three long range Thor nuclear missiles. Each missile had a payload of 1.4 megatons and a range of about 2,500 kilometres. The missile silos were located on the east side of the airbase, and after the Cold War, the missiles were decommissioned and the airbase was finally abandoned in 1963. Most of the airbase has since been repurposed as farmland, but Gunman Airsoft operate their site in the southernmost area of the abandoned airbase. So the site itself is steeped in military history, and I'm sure if you ask them, maybe one of the marshals will tell you a ghost story or two. The Venue in order to get your ticket, simply visit the gunmanairsofts.co.uk website where you'll find all of the events that they're currently running. Events are popular so don't leave it until the week before as chances are they'll be sold out. Once you arrive at the site you'll be greeted by one of the friendly marshals. Actually probably one of the one things that stood out about Gunman was the friendly and welcoming staff. During Covid, players are asked to check in from their cars as they arrive and then, once you're parked up, to then operate for the rest of the day from the back of your vehicle within the parking area. It's probably a good idea to bring table and some camping chairs and if the weather looks a bit iffy, a gazebo could also be handy. The main building is still open to purchase BBs, gas, grenades and other consumables. The shop also carries a selection of pistols, AGs, batteries, magazines, holsters, iPro and other goodies. If you've ordered gun hire with your ticket then this is the building that you would go along to pick up your kit. Once everyone had arrived and settled in, the marshals would go on to deliver a great briefing which was humorous, concise and very clear. This included event specific rules such as whether full auto, grenades or medics were in play or not. My main takeaway from the briefing and from the day in general is that everybody's safety was absolutely paramount and top priority, but also making sure we had a really fun day. One of the things I would have liked to have seen, and maybe I missed it, but it would have been good to see a shooting range with markers at 30 metres, 40, 50, 60 and so on, so that people can adjust their hop-ups and their sights before going out and playing a game. Of course you could make these adjustments whilst you're out in the field, but a dedicated shooting range could be something to consider. Before gameplay, and as you walk out into the game area, everyone's guns are chronoed. Nothing unusual about the FPS limits, 350 for AEGs and pistols etc, 400 for DMRs and 500 for snipers. One good tip to save you from embarrassment is when you're having your guns chronoed, make sure that your magazine is inserted correctly so it doesn't drop out as it happened to my teammate Supergirl. I did have a little situation when my pistol was being chronoed and it was running a little hot over the FPS limits and I wasn't allowed to use it. This is obviously a good thing for player safety, however I didn't have much time to fix the issue, which in my case was changing it from red gas to green gas. So if you're not sure or confident in your gun's FPS, then be prepared and be warned. Game Zones There are two main areas for gameplay, the upper open area and the lower village. Depending on the event, either one or the other or both areas will be in play. Both areas are accessed from the main concrete track that runs the length of the site from the safe zone. The upper main area is made of open broadleaf woodland and undergrowth. Spawn points are positioned at various points on the edges of the game area depending on the game itself. And it was used in the morning for games such as Team Deathmatch, Engineer and Vehicle Escort etc. For some games the squash court building across the other side of the track was used as a starting and spawn point. This is next to the Killhouse building which is currently being renovated and repaired. 
After a spot of lunch, we headed down to the lower zone for an afternoon of CQB in the village. On one side of the track, there are some shipping containers and other assorted cover spots. On the other side, and the highlight of Gunman's site, are about 12 abandoned buildings. These are awesome, and were originally some of the accommodation units and shower block of the 1940s and 50s RAF Tuddenham Air Base. Games such as Domination and Building Clearance with Airstrikes make for some really intense and creative gameplay. Pyro Building 6! These CQB buildings are also used for the Gunman Night Games. Stalking your enemy team in the dark in order to prevent the bomb from going off was a brilliant experience and highly recommended. Gameplay On the open skirmish days and the night game that I've attended, each game lasts between 20 and 40 minutes. Surrender. Some games require teams to swap sides, whilst other games have a single competitive objective. Gunman hosts especially themed events such as Milsim, Filmsin, Battlefield, Halloween, to name but a few. These mix up the play styles and offer various levels of immersive gameplay with interesting objectives. Oh, oh a spleen! <laughs> At all the events that I've attended, all of the marshals have been super friendly and helpful throughout the day. During the games, they're on hand to ensure that everybody is playing safely, fairly, having fun, and also to offer tips, advice, and gameplay strategy. Do we go down the left? Do we go down the right? Or do we go all out and hammer it down the middle? One of the marshals at Gunman Airsoft is a professional photographer, and he is often seen taking photos of the players in action. These are super photos, and if you are snapped whilst doing your best Soap McTavish action pose, you can buy it for a few quid after the game on his website, which is samhinsley.co.uk. I'll put a link in the description below. I'll be posting up some gameplay videos soon to the Harry Badger YouTube channel. But in the meantime, please check out Jag Airsoft's very own YouTube channel, where he has some cool Gunman Tuddenham gameplay videos. Again, check out the description below for a link. Summary So overall, Gunman Airsoft in Tuddenham delivers a super day out. Friendly staff, awesome gameplay, great battle arena and loads of fun. And at the end of the day, that's what it's really all about, just having fun. So I'm going to give a gleaming 10 out of 10 for Gunman Airsoft. Highly recommended. Thank you very much, chaps. Thanks for watching, this is Harry Badger signing off. Watch this space, click the subscribe button for more videos coming soon.